Hi, I'm Dane Utegard with Utegard Property Group in Keller Williams East Side. I wanted to take the time to go over what is going on in our current real estate market. There's been a lot of changes and there's a lot of change to come. First thing is we started January 2021 uh, with a median house sales price of 737,000 and we ended that first uh, halfway point at 875k. Um, that's a huge jump as you will see. Now, what does that mean? We will see here that in July we were at 875 and then we dipped back down to 800 and 21,000 for the median price point in the area. And this is for all of King County. But what you're witnessing is the seasonality of the area, right? We tend to go a little bit slower come winter. Everything drops in price and higher end property sits for a little bit longer. So in January 2022, you know, we started at 794K. Um, and then again, we, we skyrocketed and we had a very hot first quarter, first half um, ending in, Ju in June at 926. But you can already starting to, uh, start to see that peak wavering and coming back down the other direction as it capped out at about a million in um, May. So in July of 2022, about six months ago, we were at 900,000. August 900,000 and it dropped down to 880,000, 907, 830, and then closed out in December at 820. So if you zoom out and you look at this from a bird's eye view, what you're seeing is a market that's stabilizing. We did not, uh, we did not have appreciation over the past year as we did the year prior. But we do have appreciation over the year prior, and we did not drop drastically like the media has uh, has asserted that we have. We went from a median price point of eight hundred and twenty one thousand dollars in twenty twenty one December, uh, December of twenty twenty one to 820,000 in December of 2022. I don't know how nitpicky you are, but to me, that does not assert a uh, massive slide in pricing. In fact, it seems pretty stable to me. And although we were coming out of a very hot market where things were selling, a uh, median price point was a million. Uh, we also had such low inventory that everything was escalating well above what it should have been escalating um, and selling for. And then, of course, that coincided with a huge interest rate increase, a hike. Uh, we went from, you know, high twos, low threes to fours to fives to sixes. And once that happens and when they happen so abruptly, it pauses the market. And so we had a huge surge of inventory as sellers were still trying to capture that price point that they thought they could get. Um, unfortunately, that time had passed and they weren't going to be able to a buy at, or sell at that price point any longer. And so it caused a little bit of a stagnant market. Uh, houses were sitting a little bit longer as sellers, as sellers were asking for more than their house would sell for. And, you know, the media goes and says, oh, well, the sky is falling. Well, it's not falling. It's just, it's stabilizing. And we're now st uh, stabilized, I believe. I think uh, going forward in the spring, we'll see this market continue to pick up. We're already seeing an increase in pendings over last month. So January is at 54.8% more pendings than December was. So if you have any questions, if you want to understand how seasonality works here, if you want to go over these charts in more depth, if you have any questions, et cetera, if you want to be walked through the buying process, if you want to be walked through the selling process, if you want to understand what your house is worth, give me a call. My number is 425-681-6057. My name is Dane Utegard. I run Utegard Property Group with Keller Williams, and I'm here to help you. Have a wonderful day. And I look forward to hearing from you.